My son was actually 12 years and my daughter was uh, 5 years old. Initially, you know, they did not like me and the feeling was very mutual. And uh, But they liked my daughter who was like 7 years old. And uh, one morning what happened is while my, uh, my Dilip and my husband was making a uh, breakfast uh, my daughter and his son came and just giggled and said okay uh, why can't we become families you know like you know we just uh, live in the same roof under the same roof and I, we both were a little uh, taken aback and uh, then after a few uh, months we moved the thing is uh, yes uh, uh, I had a lot of rift with the children and uh, and they also took a a while to adjust and accept me as a mother but thanks to uh, Dilipan and his patience and I, I did take a lot of therapy from him then I understood uh, uh, their insecurity and uh, then began to slowly uh, actually parent them and while parenting them I also learned to parent my own child since then um, yes after a little, uh, you know, the most difficult, difficult conversations and hard uh, situations, uh, we began to eventually like each other for who we are. And then there's no looking back. Yes, uh, a lot of times to gain their approval. Um, it was actually not so easy for my own child because she has seen um, herself being exclusive like you know my whole attention for her and then uh, right in front of her eyes when she used to see me being very lenient with the with her uh, siblings she did feel very left out but um, yeah thanks to that again a series of therapies with the Lipan I was able to you know understand why she was feeling and also was able to give her some time and uh, you know have an open conversation where uh, these kind of things that stays in the mind of the children they started being very vocal about it and as parents we also became very welcoming to take uh, criticisms from them so in that way yes a long way um, now things have changed a lot Very tricky question. <laughs> See, when I want to be exclusive, you know, exclusive in sense, just uh, uh, seeing my daughter as my only child, then yes, it was difficult. When I became inclusive, when I started seeing all the children as my children, then things became easy because I stopped seeing that they belong to me and I started seeing that I belong to them. Oh yes, yes, uh, I am. In fact, uh, we are in touch with uh, the stepchildren mom and uh, we also have an independent relationship. So yeah. Very simple, we began to share stories about each our lives and our pain and discuss anything under the sun in that way. It's like a group discussion where we got to know our own fears and worries and small, small success. And we actually began to cheer for each other and stand up for each other. So yeah, that's how they bond and they're still very strong in their bonding with each other. A genuine, normal sibling bond and uh, in fact people who get to know us they actually uh, check ask me does your older son like you know your biological child or you know we started looking like each other <laughs> it is that amount of bonding so there is like you know people people could not place whose child is like you know is uh, nandita or arushi is my daughter they just can't place it very few people who know us personally know, so we are like one strong, thick unit. Yeah, initially rules are a must or else uh, uh, you will go mad. 
the rules are very simple it is about actually listening with reasoning so the children uh, can definitely come up with their perspective of why they don't want to do the work and why it is so boring and we sit and negotiate that and um, this is like you know this is a way where they understand uh, why it is so important to do their homework instead of blindly following that now you have to do yes if they have a commitment they do talk to me or especially me because i am i uh, take care of those things and discuss their own deadline and yes they do it with respect because that's how we work as a team there is no hierarchy that you know yeah there is a hierarchy that you got to listen but you can always question the authority or if i'm being quite unreasonable the children can take it up to their father and it won't hurt me or anything that's like a set rule you know <clears throat> and we definitely say no i don't agree with you mama this is like you know you got to give us some kind of a break so these kind of conversations are very regular in our house so in that way yes now i don't have to go behind their studies at all right now my children are in 10th and 9th and they wake up on their own they pack their own dabbas and they do their own commitments i've never touched or even seen what they're doing in their books and they score pretty well in their subjects so what more can i ask the best way to understand somebody is to get into their world yes when i started parenting my step children one of the biggest thing is uh, cooking their mother's food so i started cooking like uh, their mother like this dal exactly the exact amount of mirchi and <laughs> garlic and you know it was initially little you know it, it just like i was little uh, upset that why can't they eat something different but then i understood that it's important for them to feel home so i started learning and i started cooking that and um, slowly um, like i'm a vegetarian and the children love uh, chicken a lot and um, the big shift towards i began uh, to cook chicken for them uh, and in that way you know we bonded really deeply because they saw that amma being a vegetarian uh, cooking uh, chicken uh, on a regular basis that was uh, you know that stuck a chord uh, within them and um, yeah that's how uh, we understood each other and um, fell in love with who we are <laughs> oh god <laughs> i would just say come home and stay with us you'll get to know us more because these are all the concepts where uh, uh, you know many people just get stuck and just don't move on and um, that's how my answer is and uh, we anyway talk about these things in open uh, <clears throat> among each other so sometimes when we uh, when people come home uh, many of them know the whole setup of the family and we freely talk the there's no fear about talking about step mom concept or step dad concept we are quite open with that in that way there is nothing to hide <laughs> i never saw myself as a step mom so i passed this question um okay to all the women who are in a similar situation who are looking or dating a single dad uh, like you know who is taking care of his children what a situation before getting into a relationship please i would always say take up some kind of a counseling or something to understand how open are you and how welcoming are you with the uncertainty that the relationship has to offer you you the more certain you are you know you might face a lot of disappointments but if you're open for disappointments there's nothing like it so if you love the person for the way he is or she is sorry as it's for women the way he is just go with your complete heart or take some kind of counseling where you understand why are you attracted to this person and in that way i would say you know you live life only once and just it's important 
to live your life to the fullest and embrace uncertainty as a part of growing up. That is what I want to tell uh, women. He has seen my kids as his own actually much more than how I used to. For me the change happened slowly but for him it was like straight and there's no looking back. <laughs> She's his child only. <laughs> So and another thing is he also he is the one who strongly believes in the concept of uh, inclusivity and from him only I got it. So I am really lucky in that way. Thank you. It has been a pleasure, a privilege but most of all a blessing to have known Gayatri all these years and to have her share in my life. Love you and thank you. Hello, I am Nandita Dilipan and I am here to share a few words about my mother. I am actually her stepdaughter and one thing that I really like about her is the fact that she never treated me differently because I am her stepdaughter and that is like by that I mean that she always made sure that I have everything I need and uh, yeah always uh, made sure that I do better and uh, yeah she never treated me differently and that is one thing I really like about her. So my name is Swapan Dilipan and yeah I am here to share what I like about my mother. Well, yeah, what I like about her, to be very frank, is that she goes out of her way to make things comfortable and possible for me when I ask her to. When I need to go out with my friends or alone, I don't even need to worry if she's going to say yes or no. I know for a fact it's going to be a yes. Whatever money I ask from her, even that she'll give me happily. And that's what I really like about her. Thank you. Uh, what I like about Oma is that she's very cute. And, uh, and she be really nice to me and give me my food and all. Bye!